Creating a building project. In Revit, a project is not only the physical building, but all the associated documentation that goes with the drawing. Uh, so those are drawings, schedules, views, etc. Animations, renderings, it goes on and on and on. So we have to learn where do we start to create a building project. There's generally two mythologies that we can do. The first method is that we create a building model using building elements such as walls and doors and windows and roofs and floors. So we'll go over to architecture tab here and we'll start putting in these walls and doors and windows and, and roofs etc. So we'll come in here and build our building project. Uh, the second mythology is we'll use massing tools. So if we go over to massing in sight, in massing in sight we will create a mass and you can think of this as if we're creating it out of say clay and we build a building say out of clay molds and we conceptualize the building shape and volume first before we start putting in the individual elements such as doors and windows either method is acceptable this class will focus on the first method of creating uh, building elements and starting with walls and windows and doors etc first uh, we do have a chapter in this textbook uh, on massing tools. Uh, I believe it's chapter 10. And uh, we have ability to, be, to go in and do it as far as doing the conceptual massing as well. So our process will be to create individual building elements such as the walls and then we'll add say uh, doors and windows uh, in our next steps. Uh, then we'll add a floor and then we'll add a roof. Alright, so there's two different mythologies on creating a building project. The first one is creating individual building elements such as doors, windows, uh, roofs, floors. The second one is creating a conceptual massing of the building using massing tools that define the shape and volume of the object.